I'm Kirsty and I'm a beaver leader at First Chalk Hall Bay and a cub leader at 7th South Church Hamstall. And today I'm going to show you how you can make a stick raft in your own back garden. I've been doing some gardening the last few weeks and so I've got lots and lots of leftover sticks. And this is one really good way that you can have a go at a bit, in, bit of mini pioneering and you can use them to make something. So first of all you need to collect about 10 sticks. doesn't matter what size because you're going to break them to the right size for what you need. So here's my collection of sticks. Okay, so I have got, let's see, I've got two quite long ones, which I'm going to put there, and then I've got about eight shorter ones. So when you've collected your sticks, you need to cut or break two, to be a little bit longer, like this. And those are going to be the base of your raft and then you need about eight shorter ones and you're going to lay them across the top of your raft like that eight so that is going to be the sort of shape of your raft the next thing you need is some string and you're going to do some lashing to tie all the sticks together first thing you do is you make a knot with your string. A reef knot is really good for this. Go right over left and left over right and you fasten it to one of your sticks. So, there you go, there's my reef knot. You can see the shape of the reef knot just there. Pull it tight. So what you're going to do now is you're going to weave the string in and out of the sticks on top of your raft. So I've got it at the top on this one, so I'm then going to go under the next one, over the next one, under and over and under and over and then under my last one. And I'm going to push all the sticks close together so that they don't wobble about and I'm just going to very gently pull the string tight so that they don't move about like that okay then I'm going to take my string under one of my big sticks at the bottom because that's going to hold it all together okay and then I'm going to go back the other way so where I went under the stick before, I'm going to go over the top. So I'm going to go over the top of this one, under, over, under, over, under, and then I'm back where I started. Now your sticks will be a little bit wobbly here, so again you just need to pull the string so it's nice and tight. Take the string through to the other end and pull like that. And then again you go underneath your big stick at the bottom to hold the sticks on and then you're going to go under and over for one last time. So again, you go over, under, nice long bit of string take your scissors and just cut it don't worry if it's nice and long you can trim off any you don't need later okay. and again you push your string close together and you pull it tight like that and then you go underneath your base stick gently a little bit fiddly so take your time and you tie a knot like that and again just to make sure it doesn't come loose and 
And then, once you've tied that one, you're going to do exactly the same with the sticks on the other side of your raft. So I'm going to take my string, make my reef knot. So then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the sticks on the other side of my raft. So I've tied my string on with my reef knot, and I'm going to go under and over all the way across. It'll be a little bit easy this time because you've already knotted one side down, so they won't wobble about so much. Don't forget to take the string underneath the big stick at the bottom, otherwise the top bit of your raft will float off and they won't stay together. And I'm going to go back again, my second sort of weaving. All the way back. You see how much easier it is this time. And then underneath the big stick on this end. nice and tight and then one last time so over under over and you can see that's held together quite firmly it doesn't matter if your sticks are a little bit different sizes as long as the string is underneath them all holding them on firmly so I've done my three sets of weaving I'm going to cut my string off underneath my stick, tie it on tight. So now you can see the shape of my raft. So if I pick it up, that's what it looks like on the top. Then if I turn it over, that's what it should look like on the bottom. So what I can do now is I can take a piece of Play-Doh or Plasticine, or modeling clay if you don't have those. And I'm going to take a small blob, because that's going to hold my mast onto my raft. I'm going to pop that down on the middle there, squish it down. Okay. Then I'm going to take a bamboo stick, which is the sort of thing that you toast marshmallows on. I don't need it that long, so I'm going to cut it in half and you can break it quite easily, like that. So that's going to be the mast of my raft. And then I need a sail. So I've cut out a cardboard triangle and I'm going to draw a design on it. Now you might want to take a little bit longer to draw your design on. I'm just going to do some patterns for speed. But you could draw a pirate, you could draw the scout logo, you can draw butterflies, you can draw stars, you can do stripes, whatever you like. With some felt tip pens. And then I'm going to push my bamboo stick through the bottom. Be very careful not to poke your fingers, like that. And then again through the other way, the top, like that. Okay, that's going to be the sail of my raft. And then we're going to pop that straight through the clay in the middle. Okay. If you've got any little Lego figures in your house, or play people, you might want to sit them on your raft. get yourself a bucket of water or you can float it in your paddling pool if you have one up in your back garden and you can test your raft to see if it floats. And there's my bucket of water. I'm going to pick my raft off and I'm going to pop it into the water and see if it floats or if it sinks. Here we go and as you can see it floats. Hopefully your paddling pool or bucket will be a little bit bigger than mine so that you can side to the other. And that's how you make a stick raft in your garden. Good luck!